In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 7, verses 1 through to 12. Now concerning the things of which you wrote to me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. Nevertheless, because of six sexual immorality, let each man have his own wife, and let each woman have her own husband. Let the husband render to his wife the affection due her, and likewise also the wife to her husband. The wife does not have authority over her own body, but the husband does. And likewise, the husband does not have authority over his own body, but the wife does. Do not despise one another except with consent for a time, that you may give yourselves to fasting and prayer and come together again so that Satan does not tempt you because of your lack of self-control. But I say this as a concession, not as a commandment, for I wish that all men were even as I myself, but each one has his own gift from God, one in this manner and another in that. But I say to the unmarried and to the widows, it is good for them if they remain even as I am. But if they cannot exercise self-control, let them marry, for it is better to marry than to burn with passion. Now to the married, I command, yet not I, but the Lord. A wife is not to depart from her husband, but even if she does depart, let her remain unmarried or be reconciled to her husband. And a husband is not to divorce his wife, but to the rest I, not the Lord, say, if any brother has a wife who does not believe and she is willing to live with him, let him not divorce her. Glory to you, O God. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen, Amen, Amen. Most Holy Theotokos, save us. Amen.